Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And on today's video, we are talking about hydrogen peroxide and some of the unexpected things that you can do with this bottle of hydrogen peroxide. It is not just something that you use to disinfect and clean, you know, minor cuts and wounds. It also can be used to clean and disinfect most anything in your household also. And you may be asking yourself, what is hydrogen peroxide? Some of you may know and may not be familiar with hydrogen peroxide. It is actually a chemical compound that is made out of hydrogen and oxygen and is known in the wonderful world of the chemistry world as H2O2. And this is coming up next on Survival Preparedness for Beginners. So welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners. And today we are talking about the lovely product, hydrogen peroxide. Now, a lot of people don't realize that this does quite a bit more than what you really think, all right? Now on the back of the bottle, when you buy it, it does actually state that it can be used as a, like a mouthwash type deal. Now this is, don't wanna swallow any of this stuff. But if you needed to rinse your mouth out or something, say you had cold sores or abscess tooth or something like that, it may help with treating that. And the directions are right on the back of the container. All right. So hydrogen peroxide has a lot of different features that it'll do around your house and everything else that a lot of people out there probably don't realize. And it's very inexpensive if you can find it in the stores. Now, right now, with everything that's going on, sometimes it is hard to find this lovely little bottle, but it isn't something that you can't find. You may have to shop around at a few different stores, maybe the dollar store or something, you may have to get a smaller bottle. But then again, if you can find it, buy it. It's something you should have on hand, and it's not as harsh as using a bleach or something like that. <clears throat> Now, besides cleaning, you know, your basic cuts and wounds and all that kind of stuff that we already know that you use peroxide with, you know, to make sure that you clean it out before you put on either your triple antibiotic ointment or uh, any of your stuff like that before you cover the wound and everything up. <clears throat> this thing will also is great for, we'll just start off with uh, cleaning your vegetables. All right, now it's really good at cleaning vegetables. So basically you fill your sink with um, cold water. You put a quarter cup of hydrogen peroxide in there and then take and put your vegetables, fruits and vegetables, you can put them into the water and let them soak for 30 seconds or so. Take them out, wipe them off dry and it'll kill any of the bacteria, anything that could be on any of the produce or fruits and vegetables that you did buy at the store if you're concerned about that. which and a logic of uh, food, you wanna always make sure that you wash your vegetables when you bring them home before you use them. Cause you never know what they may have on them. They could have picked up whatever else. So you always wanna make sure that you wash them. And this is a cheap and expensive way to do it if you really wanna feel secure. All right, <clears throat> another thing that this will do, it'll brighten up your dishes. So basically you can take your hydrogen peroxide, okay? <clears throat> you take about um, two ounces of hydrogen peroxide, put it into your dishwasher, and it will help brighten up the dishes and everything else and make them look brand new. Something that you may be looking for, you know? Instead of using any type of harsh chemicals and all that, you would still put in your regular soap and everything else, but you would add the two ounces of this to your dishwasher, and this way here, it would help you know, brighten your dishes and everything up if they were looking a little dingy or dull. Um, another good thing that this will do, removes uh, basically like the grime and the stains on your, you know, your pots and pans and that type of thing when uh, you're doing cooking and everything else, you know, stuff spills over and it burns on the sides and that type of stuff, all right? <clears throat> so you basically, you're gonna make a paste 
All right, so you're gonna use baking soda and hydrogen peroxide. You use the baking soda, you put in a little bit, a few drops of this to make the paste, okay? And then you take and you rub the paste onto your pots and pans and let it set for about five minutes, right? And then take and wash your pots and pans like you normally would in your sink and it will help remove a lot of those stains. Now, you know, I mean, having something like this around, you know, it, it has a lot of benefits that probably maybe people out there didn't realize that hydrogen peroxide has, all right? It's a great non-toxic cleaner for your refrigerator also. Um, if you need to clean the, out your refrigerator and everything else, you make a solution with this. Basically, <clears throat> it's like a quarter cup into the water um, and then you can put it into a spray bottle. So, you know, you put a quarter cup into a, a decent sized spray bottle and then fill it up with water and you could squirt that into your, you know, you have to take everything out of your refrigerator, spray it in there, wipe it down just like if you, you would when you're cleaning it, let it set for, you know, about 30 minutes so it dries. You know, they do suggest that, you know, you turn your refrigerator off when you're doing it and then let it dry really good and then you can put all your products back in there. So that's not something you'd want to do like in the summertime, but in the wintertime, maybe you can get away with it because you can put the stuff in just coolers and set it on the back porch. And if it's cold out, you don't have to worry about it, you know. This will also take and disinfect your cleaning supplies. So like your sponges and your rags and your disc scrubbers, toilet scrubbers, any of that kind of stuff, you can take and use this to disinfect those products, okay? Basically, you use the same type of setup with the water. You put a quarter cup, you fill the sink up, put a quarter cup of the hydrogen peroxide in there, put those items in there, and let them soak for roughly about five minutes or so depending on, I guess, really how bad they are. If they're that bad, you may want to just toss them and get new ones. But, you know, this will help freshen up, you know, some of your sponges so you don't have to keep throwing them out. And then you wring them out, rinse them out really good, and let them dry, and you're good to go. Your, it disinfects your, your hygiene products also, uh, as far as your, you know, your bathroom counter, your, your beauty counter, anything, your, your makeup brushes, uh, it'll do all that kind of stuff too with the same basically principle um, Cleans all that kind of stuff. There's a lot that the hydrogen peroxide does besides this You know you pour it on a wound and it bubbles up, you know, I mean this thing will this stuff is really good And it's something good to have on hand if you're a prepper because you may not be able to get like right now You know bleach is a high demand in stores um, a lot of the cleaning products are in high demand. You can't get Lysol, forget that. A lot of the stores, they're trying to get the stuff back on the shelves, but it's just not happening. Why, I don't know. So hydrogen peroxide would be a good substitute to have on hand. And more than likely, I bet some of you people out there already have some of the hydrogen peroxide right there in your medicine cabinet, your first aid kits or anything like that. You know, you can use hydrogen peroxide also to clean your washing machine. Now, when you do that, you wanna make sure that <clears throat> if you have a clean cycle, you could use that. If you don't have a clean cycle, you wanna fill your washer up and put it on a heavy duty cycle and fill it up with hot water. Now, when you do that, you're gonna pour in roughly two cups. It was two cups. So you need two cups of this and you pour it into your washer, all right? And then you do it on, if you have a clean cycle, run it on the clean cycle. And then if you don't, run it on the heavy duty, like I said, and with hot water and let that run through and it'll clean out all the dirt and the grime. You would be amazed what is in all those little holes inside your washer, okay? And it builds up the soap scum and the dirt and the grime and everything else. And this will help take and clean all that out. Now you can buy those packets and stuff in the stores that clean your washer and everything else, but those are real harsh chemicals. This isn't. So if you're really concerned about what, you know, you're using and everything else, this is a good alternative, all right? Now, a lot of people you are probably wondering, you know, what's a good way to store your hydrogen peroxide? Now, as long as you store it in a cool, dry place, so if you keep it in your medicine cabinet, under the sink, in your bathroom, 
in your hall closet where you maybe you have your towels and stuff like that that's perfectly fine you want to store it at room temperature you don't want it to freeze you don't want it to get like real hot so it needs to be in a, like a controlled environment just like if you were doing any of your regular preps when you're prepping your food and everything else that needs to be stored in a controlled environment this is no different so today I just wanted to bring a little, quick little video because I really haven't seen uh, too many preppers out there talk about hydrogen peroxide and a lot of the benefits that it does have besides just cleaning the little boo-boo you may have on your finger. So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners and until next time, you all stay clean with the hydrogen peroxide and we'll catch you all on the flip side.